swell sharks are found from Monterey, California to southern Mexico and along the coast of Chile. They can grow up to about three feet long. The other thing about the swell shark is these are notoriously bad swimmers. These are not the Michael Phelps of sharks. When they feel threatened, they can gulp down a huge amount of water or air and swell up about twice their size. And that'll be a pretty hard thing for a bigger shark to try to eat. This area is home to a whole host of interesting fish, including another truly bizarre creature that can also expand its body in amazing ways. The sarcastic fringe head is only a foot long, but it's still a ferocious deep sea predator. Like the swell shark, it tends to stay hidden most of the time. But if another fringe head tries to steal its turf, a mouth wrestling battle ensues. You know, it might look like romance, but it's war. As Gruber and his team drop down the canyon wall, they catch a glimpse of a familiar leopard patterned skin. It's a swell shark lounging on the canyon shelf. Gruber and the crew get to work. First, they film the shark in natural light, the way a human eye would see it. Next, they film the shark with special blue lights that stimulate shark fluorescence. And then, using the shark eye camera, the otherwise bland-looking swell shark transforms into a neon green alien. What we found in these swell sharks is that the biofluorescent property is only in the skin. So it's just on the surface. And we think swell sharks are glowing green because of two things. One, it's a way for them to find each other and attract each other. And it's a way to kind of further camouflage themselves on the reef. These sharks go back 400 million years. And now we're just beginning to understand this world and what role it's playing for them.